Okay guys, crazy compost lady here. Today is March 18th and um, we just had a great big snow. It has all melted in. Everything's really muddy right now. And let's take a little garden tour and see how everything is growing. Here's the chickens. So here's my big compost pile and I did level it out pretty good before the snow but it's really smushed down with the weight of the snow and it's, it's just wet all the way to the bottom. Let's see. It's still a little dry down there. I'd say halfway. Anyway, do you remember that we planted sweet peas and nasturtiums down here? And I don't see anything coming up just yet. They should come up when the soil gets to be the right temperature. So as long as there's not a frost that kills them off before they can pop up, they should still come up. Okay. I covered one of my little garden hills with manure, so that's new. But down here, this is where I keep my rhubarb, which my mother sent me in the mail and years ago. And then when I moved, I brought it here with me. And you can see this is what it looks like when it's just popping through the soil in the spring. See these little spikes? And then you can see the leaves just starting to unfurl. So the spike will come up and then these leaves will unfurl. Have you ever had rhubarb? Hi. I wonder. My kids ask for it all the time. Okay, now do you remember the little cold frame that I made with the window? We're gonna, I've got it popped open here. And the snow actually seeped in. I watered it a little bit because there were a few dry spots. But as you can see, Last time we had a few little sprouts, but now I'm not sure if these ones are weeds or carrots, so we'll figure that out later. But we've got some mustard greens right here. It's okay if they're too close together because um, when they get a little bigger, I can always separate them and put them farther apart from each other. So I don't mind that. They kind of slosh together with the water sometimes. So that's how the little cold frame's going. Here's another one. That's going to be another one of the greens. And those look like lettuces right there. Okay, and then uh, my friend gave me some raspberry bushes, so we'll go look at those. I planted the raspberry bushes in this big pot because um, I didn't want them to just start popping up everywhere in my yard. So hopefully they'll live through the cold part of the winter in there and Hopefully we will see some sprouts coming out of it soon. And over here in my flower and herb garden, my sage never really died over the winter. I did sneak a couple of raspberry bushes back here. 
just maybe don't mention that to my husband. <laughs> I just put them there just in case the other ones don't live. But look, this one actually has some little leaves coming off it. Oh my goodness. Can you see that little green leaf? Interesting. Yep, that one's just popping out all over the place, actually. Here's a columbine. Those are coming up already. And those will just free seed all over your yard. They're very beautiful. And these are irises. Irises come up really soon, too. They are so beautiful. So that's my little spring garden so far. I hope you enjoyed the tour. And let me know if you have any questions or something I need to show in the comments below. And otherwise, I'll see you next time.